Okay, hey my lovely, today we are going to talk about how to lower your estrogen naturally. And it's actually very, very important subject because majority of the endo girls have too high estrogen. Well, all of them, all of you, <laughs> literally all of you. And um, we also suffer for estrogen dominance. It means estrogen is uh, too high compared to uh, progesterone. Uh, you have to know that we've got few kinds of estrogen. We've got human estrogen, chemical estrogen, and the plant estrogen. And normally in our bodies, our liver, our kidney, and our digestive system uh, eliminates the excess estrogen. But sometimes we just have to uh, help our organs and we just have to uh, give our body the extra care. So in this video, I'm going to show you the ways how can you decrease your estrogen level naturally without any drugs, without any pills, just naturally, naturally, just by eliminating and adding some things. And um, what I was uh, about to say is that too high uh, estrogen can cause a lot of uh, symptoms. The symptoms you are familiar with because they are the same symptoms uh, as the endometriosis symptoms because the endo is related to too high estrogen, that's why. So uh, which kind of symptoms are they? PMS, bloating, constipation, tender breast, irregular period, cellulite, infertility, endometriosis, uh, fibroids, ovarian cysts, um, thyroid problem, breast lump, as you can see, all <laughs> all uh, all kind of uh, horrible horrible symptoms are literally uh, caused by too high estrogen. And so, what you can do? First of all, more uh, vegetables. Add more vegetables uh, because there's been actually um, uh, some study made which shows that uh, the girls who have too high estrogen also don't consume a lot of fiber. It's actually related. Phytochemical contained in the vegetables helps the body to detoxify the ex excess estrogen. So a lot of uh, vegetables, a lot of green vegetables, cruciferous uh, vegetables. Those who are working with me one on one knows that I'm obsessed about, uh, when it comes to green vegetables and green smoothies. So add more vegetables. It's actually going to help your gut as well. Uh, another thing, coffee out. Literally no more coffee. Coffee promotes the stress response to the body and stress is linked to the estrogen imbalances. It also affects the way how the woman uh, metabolizes estrogen. And if you didn't watch it yet, please watch my video uh, when I talk all about endometriosis and the coffee uh, in more details because it's absolutely mind blow. Uh, another thing uh, which you should do is to improve sleep. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you have no good quality of sleep, that can cause the stress and stress is causing the cortisol production and too uh, high uh, cortisol, it's mean too high estrogen. So it's like never ending cycle. Another thing which you have to uh, remove uh, from your life is alcohol. Mm -hmm. It changes the way how the body eliminates estrogen. It's basically slow down the oxidation process of the estrogen so it can turn into its preferred form and can be eliminated. It's make it more hard for body to eliminate estrogen, if that makes sense. By removing the alcohol, progesterone level can increase again and it can balance itself again. Okay, so no more beer, no more wine, no more alcohol. Sorry. Add mindful movement, uh, not like the very heavy lifting or very like intense exercises because that's not mindful movement. Mindful movement is the movement when you basically listen to your body and you're doing the, the, the moves your body feel the most comfortable doing. I absolutely love yoga and I cannot recommend you enough. It eliminates stress and less stress. It means lower estrogen level. So add mindful movement. Another thing, lose weight. It's uh, the study actually shows that the dangerous human estrogen, uh, which is called uh, ostradiol, is made in enzymes stored by fat, which means the more fat, the more estrogen. So the people who are uh, overweight, they are more likely to have uh, too high estrogen levels. Another thing you can do 
my lovely is to go organic and I can't recommend it enough. Uh, as I mentioned uh, in my videos about the meat <laughs> and about the processed food, meat those days is filled with hormones because it's mass production. It's not like uh, organic uh, meat production when our grandmothers can remember. Basically, uh, all the industry cares now is to produce uh, the biggest animals the quickest way possible while maintaining the more the most of the mass uh, the muscle mass. So basically, those animals are given a lot of uh, growth hormone as well as steroids. And where do you think all the hormones goes? They goes to us and they are affecting our hormonal level as well. Okay. So avoid uh, also eating and drinking from the plastic because it contains uh, a lot of um, uh, herbicide, uh, pesticide, avoid all of this. Go organic wherever pro uh, possible and please never ever uh, microwave your food in the plastic containers, okay? Avoid all plastic. I know it's sometimes very, very difficult. It took me uh, some time to literally um, not drink from the plastic bottles. Now I'm drinking from the glass bottle. And I have a filter, water filter. I'm not buying any more plastic bottles uh, of water. But it took me some time, so I can relate. If you cannot implement the things right away, don't feel bad about it. Just please start doing, you know, one thing at a time, okay? Another thing is sync with your rhythms. Uh, you know, we've got two rhythms as a woman in Fadian and Circadian. And by uh, synchronizing your activities and your food with your rhythm, you can actually help your hormones and you can regulate your hormones. Avoid prescription drugs that increase uh, estrogen level. And I know it's easier say than do because sometimes we have to take some medicines. I know. So these are the names of uh, this. <laughs> These are the names of the few of the drugs that actually increase estrogen level. Zantax, Tagmat, Xanax, Valiums, they are antidepressant. Lanoxin, Norvask, uh, they are the um, one which uh, you would use when you have heart-related problems. Uh, Ketocanalazan and metro metronidazole, uh, which are antibiotics. Metronidazole is used um, very uh, much when it comes to uh, endometriosis and when it comes to uh, healing after laparoscopy. For example, when I had laparoscopy and when they remove all the endometriosis from my lungs and from my intestines, they also flush it out with metronidazole, which is, you know, one of those uh, medications that contain too, too much estrogen. <laughs> Very strange if you ask me. They should know better, but hey. And this is the estrogen prescription paradox. <laughs> As you can see, you know, you're trying to get better. And then, for example, you've got hot flashes. And what they're going to do, they're going to uh, get you to some uh, tablets that are going to uh, regulate your estrogen level. The same they're doing with endogirls. Uh, they are suggesting as birth control, as you can see, uh, and the same when you have an uh, abnormal menstrual cycle, the same when you've got cyst, they're going to put you on some kind of estrogen, uh, uh, kind of uh, estrogen medication, uh, bone loss, low estrogen level, and all these things comes with the side effects. Basically, they're going to ruin your gut. Uh, they might ruin uh, your magnesium uh, in, magnesium levels. So you're going to end up with magnesium def deficiency, the same zinc deficiency, uh, foliate, vitamin B12 and vitamin B, as well as iron sometimes. So as you can see, you're trying to uh, get better and you might end up getting worse. And another very important thing, the last one, go toxin free at home. Uh, it's been said that um, an average woman come across 608, 680 chemicals a month. Many of them disturb their hormones. Many are even cancerogenic. So please uh, be mindful. Uh, watch the video I'm gonna link under this one. 
uh, about all the uh, cosmetics that are making you sick. I literally scan all of the very uh, common, commonly used uh, cosmetics here in the UK. So you can see uh, how many um, uh, endocrine disturbance uh, ingredients they have. And I'm also going to link in the description the app, which you can use. is absolutely free to download. So basically all you do is you scan the barcode of your cosmetics and it's going to show you if it comes with endocrine and disturbing uh, ingredients. So if it's red, please get rid of them, okay? And don't put perfume on your skin and that's including aftershave and the body lotions. And girl, uh, the words don't really care if we have too high estrogen or not. The only person who cares is you. And this is your responsibility to learn about it and to tell other people, all the girls about it. If you've got the daughters, please be mindful. Okay, check her cosmetics because if she starts using uh, the makeup or the foundation, which is full with endocrine disturbing ingredients, she very likely going to end up with some uh, chronic illness related to uh, hormonal imbalances. And we don't want that. Okay, so please, please, please be very mindful. And it's all in your hands. It's all in your hands, girls, because as you know, the big pharma don't give a flying toss about our health and we just have to inform each other and take care of each other so good luck i really really believe in you you got this sister i hope this short video help and if you like it please share it with everyone so we can all come together and heal together as always i love you so much and i'm gonna see you very shortly bye